as shelter in place and how to confidently emerge from quarantine. This course is an absolute labor of love. I have been consulting with mental health professionals, trusted colleagues, listening to students as we practice mindfulness together virtually over the last few months. And a common thread has been popping up no matter where the person is at, fear, panic, and overwhelm. Fear of the unknown, fear of the change that is being thrust upon us, adapting to this new space, adapting to rules that we may or may not agree with, noticing how others are managing their own fear, panic, anxiety, and overwhelm to this sudden and drastic change. And this course isn't about convincing other people to agree with you or how do you convince yourself that something is not happening in front of you. This course is about managing all that is coming as it comes. And I have to tell you, this plan is about 20 years in the making. Although I didn't know that I was uh, drafting a plan for a pandemic at the time, the reentry plan, the 10 steps that you'll find in as shelter in place ends, how to confidently emerge from quarantine. This 10 step plan really has guided me through some of the most drastic, sudden and uncomfortable transitions of my life. There have been three stories that I describe in the course that directly have paralleled the strong emotions that I'm feeling. Some of those experiences actually were quite pleasant. However, even pleasant emotions sometimes comes with an element of uncomfortability or suffering or fear or panic or overwhelm. I talk about childbirth, such a joyful occasion in parents' lives. However, it's terrifying. And then we have a whole other change of life after it's done. So there have been some parallels to what's happening now through emotional experience because emotions are universal. So although this current story is different, a global pandemic is not something that I have ever been through. Uh, some of the older generation, this feels familiar, but for my generation, we haven't endured this up until this point. The emotions that are going along with the global pandemic are not new. They're as old as human life itself. And so the 10 step plan that we talk about in as shelter in place ends, how to confidently emerge from quarantine is based in universal truths that emotions are felt by every human. The story attached may be different, but as I read and consume content on social media, depending on which side of the fence the content is, it's so emotionally charged. And as I really investigate what's happening on my inside world, as I notice what's happening on the outside world that is reading the content, I'm picking up on these people that are maybe discussing things that I agree with or don't agree with, are experiencing fear, panic, and overwhelm at the drastic changes that have been thrust upon us. Adapting to change is something as old as human life itself. The 10 step plan helps us adapt to change, no matter what the change is we have to allow it to be here because it's here. Doesn't mean that we agree, but it's here. This is causing such fear and overwhelm in some folks that they don't want to leave their house. For other people, the idea that other folks are so afraid to leave their house makes them fearful and angry about differences of opinion. So how do I navigate this challenging time and maintain my sense of self, maintain stability within who I am, my core values, my moral compass, and know that I have to allow space for others to not share the same views as me. This course helps with that. I'm so excited to announce that 100% of the proceeds of As Shelter in Place Ends, How to Confidently Emerge from Quarantine, will go to a place that has helped me tremendously, Steffi's Place, a support center for grief and loss. Steffi's Place has been managing grief, loss, and change for the last five years. We celebrate our five-year anniversary in September, actually, and I'm honored to be able to create a piece of content and offer it to the world and know that the $49 per course that you take, all of that is going right to Steffi's Place so they can also help people that are going through tremendous change at this point today and beyond. 
I wanted to do a stability meditation today. It feels like it's called for. So much of fear, panic, overwhelm, and change lies in the fact that I, I feel unstable. I feel like my core has been rocked. Please take a comfortable seated position, whatever that means for you. Bring eyes closed or open, and if they're open, bring them to what we call a neutral gaze. So that's down towards the floor, maybe down towards your lap. Just something to prevent your eyes from gazing all over the space and really triggering more thought to pop up through your visual field. I'm going to close my eyes and I ask that you do that as well. Calling to mind the image of a mountain. Breathing in. Allowing this transition, calling to mind the image of a mountain. The stable, stoic mountain. Call it to mind. Enduring all of the different weather that approaches, all of the years of change. Now imagining that you've got that same stable mountain within. You are the mountain. Calling attention downward towards the base of the mountain, towards your base, your legs, your feet, where they're making contact with the ground or your chair. Breathing in, I am the mountain. Breathing out, I am stable. Breathing in, I am the mountain. Breathing out, I am stable. Five more. Mountain. Exhale, stable. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, stability. Let's do two more together. Breathing in, I am the mountain. Breathing out, I am stable. Breathing in. And breathing out. know your transition times. Right now we are transitioning out of formal meditation practice. And I can know what I'm doing, when I'm doing it, by bringing extra attention and focus to my movements as I move from formal practice back into interactive life. Wiggling fingers, wiggling toes, know that I'm doing it when I'm doing it. This helps me feel stable in the present moment. Bringing eyes open, giving yourself some blinks, Thank you for practicing with me today. If as shelter in place, how to confidently emerge from quarantine speaks to you, I encourage you to enroll and I hope to see you there. Thank you.